I have to tell you that I think of signs as a bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> the fact of the matter is, if our voters actually voted with a higher percentage than they do, you wouldn't have to hit them over the head to say, will you come out and vote? We're having an election now. Come on out. So many voters on the doors I've knocked on have said to me, oh, you know, I think I've seen your sign. There must be an election. But they didn't know that until I saw the signs. And while I do have to agree with you, they are a nuisance. They may be pretty, they may be colorful, but so many people don't like them. Why don't we have those same people who don't like them come and vote? And then the communication won't be required that pollutes the environment. You know, part of what we do with uh, community engagement is we look to bring people together and we look for common ground, and we found some common ground, because Janet, I agree with what you said, uh, except for the bouquet, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think they're ugly, mine included, uh, but you know, I think Janet's right, um, we're going to have probably 40% voter turnout uh, if we're lucky in this election, 60% of people won't vote. I knocked on somebody's door. Uh, a couple weeks ago, and this wasn't the first time, and he said to me, oh, I thought Sharon Bolivar was still my supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> we missed two whole election cycles. Uh, you know, a lot of people do not know, and especially, um, you know, I ran in a special election two years ago where about the only way people knew that there was an election is the signs that we put up. So uh, I commit, like every candidate, all my signs will come down as soon as possible right after the election. And I'm responsible for that. And that, if that means I have to go out there and take them down myself, that's what I'll do. I know they're ugly, but you know um, we need to we need to inform people. Uh, it's just so hard to get news about what's going on locally here, and people find out about elections from the signs. You know, I was uh, I knocked on someone's door who was a retired State Department employee. He had been an election observer in Liberia, and he told me about wearing a flak jacket to go watch elections. In other parts of the world, people dodge bullets to vote, and we have 40% voter turnout, and that's why we need the signs. For the last several years, I've been out on Braddock Road the Saturday after elections picking up signs. I expect to see a lot of you people out there. Uh, the next question will be John, followed by Carrie and Janet. The question is this. What are the keys for making Fairfax County an attractive location for employers, and what will each of you do to enhance job creation? Great question, because <clears throat> job creation, economic development, creates the wealth not only in the private sector, but the government takes our little piece of that wealth, and that's what we use to fund the schools, the police, the parks, the libraries, the fire department, the human services, that are the best in Virginia. And so we want to encourage economic development. I supported, uh, and I do support, Tyson's Corner Development. I supported the Tyson's Task Force Plan, which would call for even more development. And it's not old development. It's environmentally friendly development. It's workforce housing <coughs> along with uh, business and, and commercial uh, to create a new urban mixed-use center on rail so that people can hopefully as many as possible can take Metro to their jobs. Um, we want to attract companies by keeping taxes low, keeping them as low as we can, holding the line and further tax increases. So all those big companies coming here from California keep coming. California economically is going to fall into the ocean. Companies are fleeing California they're coming to Fairfax County because we have a good business-friendly environment. We have good services for our citizens. We have the best schools around so that the corporations know that their executives and their employees will send their kids to the best schools in the world. And so we keep those services. We attract businesses here. And that will make our county an even better place to live. 